Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Omsi 2. Today we're back in West Country 3.03a. Uh, there's been another little patch, I don't know if it's released to the public yet, but uh, there's a little patch around Totnes bus station uh, where it allows the AI to drive onto the bus stands better. Uh, we're not going to be looking at that today because of course we are on the Route 12. Now this is one of my favourite routes that West Country comes with and I'm not entirely sure why it is. I just really enjoy it. It's a lovely route. It, uh, it comes with this lovely uh, repaint pack as well. There's a link in the description to go and download that. It's another fantastic livery from The Phantom. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a new updated livery. It's very similar to the Joe Ahead Group livery actually, isn't it? Uh, probably, uh, well, probably because it's a fantastic and very stylish livery. Um, but obviously it's got these lovely white and, uh, and teal colours. It's really, really nice actually. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it's branded for the Local 12, it's a very subtle branding, and inside you'll notice it comes with the uh, the traditional maquette. It's, yeah, it's a really, really nice done repaint. There is a description, uh, no there's not, there's a link in the description where you can go and download that. We also have these lovely Master Switch uh, decals on the glass. It's, it's just nice, I, I like it. So yeah, we're going to be driving the Route 12 today, because since the 3.03 .03 update we've not actually taken a drive on that. From what I've read in the uh, in the notes, it doesn't appear that this route's had much attention. But still, I love the route, so we'll uh, we'll go for a drive. Now let's pop it on the uh, on the old destination display. Private Totnes Totnes. Yep, yep, yep. Stoneley Route 12. We'll get the uh, get the interior lighting on as well. Stoneley Route 12. Fantastic. And um, we'll just log into our ticket machine. We're causing a right problem, aren't we? Right backlog of traffic. Because, of course, nobody overtakes, do they? Three, nine, two, two. Lovely. Rightio. Let's get going. It's, uh, yeah, so the route's about half an hour in length. That's not changed. And uh, hopefully there's going to be a few people there. I'm not going to drive with the uh, with the people waiting. Uh, not with the people waiting. I'm looking at them on the, uh, the left-hand side. I'm not going to drive with the directional arrows, sorry. Because I think by now we know our way around West Country. There we go. <coughs> They're probably all going to whinge that the bus is cold, but uh, but hey ho, we've got ticket right. selling turned on. Single ticket, please. No, hang on, right, two pound ninety. We're off to a flying start. Uh, two pound and ten pence. Thank you very much. I'm surprised he didn't complain, because I could have given him a two pound coin. Morning, sweetie. Right here. Well, I know we're a minute early, but we're going to set off and just have a little gentle plod. Damn, that bus has gone already. Did he overtake us? I didn't see that. We're in the uh, the master deck, or the the right street deck, of course. Which uh, this pack does come with a variety of buses. Obviously, one of them's on the Volvo chassis with the Volvo cab, and this one is uh, is the street deck. Uh, so this is right bus integral. And again, there's a link in the description where you can pick them up. They are payware add-ons from Steam. It's a fantastic little pack, to be honest with you. I've I've had many hours of enjoyment from this pack. It's definitely worth going and getting. And, uh, of course, the West Country route map add-on is... Uh, there's a link in the description to that as well. I provide all the links because, you know, I'm generally helpful, delightful person like that. Or words to that effect, anyway. For those of you that rolled your eyes, I saw that. I'm always watching, in the words of uh, Roz off Monsters, Inc. Right, where are we going next? Round here. Oh, there's nobody coming for a change. Usually there is. I have to slam on. What I do like about driving a double-decker on OMSI is uh, the single-deckers are very planted. And I like the fact the single-deckers are planted, but this is very much like driving a bouncy castle uh, in comparison. You, you can feel yourself sort of rocking. There you go, look, rocking backwards and forwards. It's nice. It is nice to have a change and drive a double-decker. But obviously, I think this is the only one that's actually branded for the route. So, uh, so yeah, that's why we're in this today. I did fancy driving the Eclipse, I'm not going to lie to you. Did fancy it, but uh, we'll have to come back and drive the Eclipse on another route, won't we? Because there's a lovely park and ride branding that comes with this repaint pack. It's like a lovely dark blue. It's a uh, almost a royal blue. Very similar to the blue that Morbus use on their Eclipse 2s. Oh, yeah. It's a lovely, lovely shade. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to come back and, uh, and visit that. Despite the fact, of course, that I do not like the park and ride route. It's nothing personal, I just never liked it. Right, off we go. We're nipping out in front of you. Right, 
straight down into Paynton now. Oh, hang on, it says Paynton Royal Hospital. It's not updated on the uh, on the route settings. Why might that be? Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, tragic. Yeah, if you look in the top left corner on the red text, it's still saying Paynton Royal Hospital. There's no way you can skip that, is there? Without going in and cancelling your timetable and resetting it all up again. As well, there used to be four trips an hour, there appears, on the new uh, the new game, only to be two, or the new version of the map, sorry. That there's only two trips. There's two buses out, there used to be four, which is a bit of a shame. Because it's got the branding on every ten minutes. Oh, what What's the branding on the... Uh, up to every ten minutes? Yeah, they're only about every half an hour now. It's a terrible shame. Right, here we go. So we, uh, it's this bus stop at the back, isn't it? Right, yo, come on, on you get everybody. I mean, I'll never know if we're on time or not, will I? Hello. Tell you what's best. I'll, I'll just cancel the timetable and we'll, uh, we'll just make it up as we go along. Two pound and ten pence. Are you driver? Hello. Lovely. Well, there we go. We've got everybody on. Does anyone actually know? Oh, look, we've got some roadworks here now. Yeah, that is... Uh, yeah, Iomex did some, say something about roadworks, because in the next version of the next instalment of West Country, this, w this junction will have changed. So he's put roadworks in this time, so that in the next version you'll be like, oh, it's updated. Which I think is a really, really clever way of doing it, because you can easily see what's, you know, what's going to change in the next versions. But also, oh, I thought he was turning left. But also, it just keeps it fresh, doesn't it? Because roadworks move about in real life. They're not always in the same place. I know they feel sometimes like they're in the same place, but they're not always in the same place. So uh, it, it does just keep it a little bit fresh. Yeah, I do love uh, the UK design team and uh, and Iomex's maps because they're they're very very cleverly done. Right, where are we going? Nobody getting on, nobody getting off. That's fine. I can cope with that. You see how it's rocking backwards and forwards. It's great. The uh, the physics on this are fantastic. To be fair, any of these payware buses that you're buying from Master Switch or Studio Polygon, I say it every time, but they, they oh, yeah. really are worth the weight in gold. The fantastic little add-ons. It's amazing when you look. I mean, we did the uh, the twenty k special live stream, didn't we? And we drove the B ninety L Gemini that at the time was like the best UK bus. It's amazing just quite how uh, how good these are in comparison. You know, and how far the UK on the uh, bus scene has come since uh, since then. Don't know if that was me uh, bouncing the bus up the curb. I don't think it was. I think we're uh, we're oh, relatively man. far away from the curb, aren't we? Right, seven pound and ten pence. Five, seven, and ten. Lovely. Let's have a look. Can we get a nice, nice zoomed in? See, I always struggle with the Master Switch version because uh, it's it's quite difficult to get a nice, nice shot. We'll have that. All right, there we go. It just seems like it's a little bit too far away. We'll have to try and get a different shot, won't we? In time. What about here? About there, right, okay. Woo, hang on. Don't pause it, you blithering imbecile. Right, let's let's try a bit of that. Oh, you see, that's a lot better. Oh, there's a tree in the way, that's annoying. 
Lovely. Right, let's let's have a bit of that. That'll do. It's clever how they've got the, uh, you can see the master switch branding on the stairs there. I like that. It's good that they keep their, uh, the company branding somewhere on the bus. And it's not massively, like, in your face, is it? It's just quite subtle. I like that. This is where when uh, when Studio Polygon released their Gemini now, it's got the Studio Polygon logo on the glass uh, on the stairs as well. Like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense to, don't get me wrong. I might drop uh, first and viral message and say, eh, consider this, it, it looks good. I can't believe it's only taken us 10 minutes to get here. We're motoring along, aren't we? Absolutely motoring. Right, see how... Oh, I like this bit because we'll get to see them walking along the beach. It's a nice bit of map. I mean, to be fair, most of it's a nice bit of map. The only bit that I don't really care for is a bit between painting and the hospital. Just not a fan, it just sort of seems like... I mean, every town like that has areas like that, don't they? I mean, it's, it's just a bit of a nondescript area. It's not a special area, it's not particularly beautiful, it's just a functional bit of town. I guess you've got to have them, because you can't have it all as being a beautiful bit of area, beautiful bit of map, but uh, yeah, it's just not my favourite. But then to be fair, I don't think Iomex likes it either, so uh, you know, it's <laughs> it's one of them, universally hated by all that drive on it. Though, going from Penton to Top Ness, you do get a little bit of thrash going up that hill. It's quite good, do like that. Little opportunity like now to put your foot down and, uh, and sort of blast along. Any minute now you'll see them walking along the beach. Have a look to your left. Oh, are they not there? Oh, no, this is terrible. Oh, they're not there. What a shame. I like seeing the people walk down the beach. What a crying shame indeed. Especially seeing as I said to you, oh, look down there. <laughs> it's brilliant and there's nothing there. Oh, here they go. Oh, look, there they are. They've just walked further up the beach. There they are. Give them a little toot. Toot of encouragement on their very lengthy beach walk. Or maybe they've just got down to that wall there and like, oh, Drat will have to turn around and go back. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a bit of bit of gentle breaking if we can. New road layout ahead. Oh no, has he changed it again? Or is this the same new road layout ahead sign from last time? You do notice in the UK, don't you, that the new road layout signs do stay there for quite a while. To the point where there's one of them near us that's just black with the emissions and grime and dirt because it's it's literally been there that long. I'll let this chap just just go in front so we don't hit him, or he doesn't hit us. Do you reckon we're only on an every half hour frequency because uh, it's like first in Halifax and I know a lot of operators since COVID they've had to, you know, take a lot of their uh, services back, haven't they? They've had to make a lot of cutbacks. Maybe that's why there's not as many buses down here anymore. You know, we used to run far, but we just can't afford to do that anymore. So it's, yeah, it's two an hour now. Maybe. I'll have to ask. Maybe it's just an oversight.
Right, off we go. I don't know if we're early, I don't know if we're late, but I know that we're not making these traffic lights. Even that's a little bit uh, far-fetched for me to scream we're committed and go blasting through. <laughs> it's, yeah, there's certain limits, isn't there, that you have to sort of draw the line. We'll even pop the handbrake on because I think we could be here for some time. Wait, there we go. Foot down. I mean, foot down in a street, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, does it? Because they don't shift. They're not the quickest, by any stretch. They, they seem to just do it in their own time, don't they? It's like with the throttles on these, you're not actually so much telling them, right, it's time to go. You're asking them, and they, and they just do it, okay. you know, as and when they please. <laughs> Unionised bus flatly refuses to do as it's told. Right, so full steam ahead. Never noticed that before, but you seem to now have a, a few floating houses here on the left hand side. Maybe it's because I'm in a different bus, maybe I've just not noticed it, like I say, but uh, don't know if there has been changes. Nobody? Nobody getting on? Right. Full throttle. Yeah, I think that down here would be quite a nice addition to the map if, uh, if Paint and Zoo made a return. But it, it might not necessarily have to be Paint and Zoo, it could be Stonely Zoo. But if Paint and Zoo was down here, the 122, which currently goes to Stonely, could divert off and go uh, into the zoo. See, I think that'd be quite nice. It'd, be, it'd require quite a bit of work, but you know when we get to the top here... You've got that junction where we turn to the left, don't we? We, Where's my throttle going? Uh, my steering wheel even. Uh, I think that it would be brilliant if the 122 would go to the zoo. And then in periods where the 122 doesn't run, because obviously in the evenings, it only goes to uh, Rodwick Down, that, that caravan park down there. I think that's the name of it. It might not be, I, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it, instead of it going, if that's going to terminate down there, the 12 when the 122's not running could divert in you know and then at, at times when the 122 runs down it doesn't you know so like it could still go in in the winter when the 122's not running I think that'd be quite nice because it adds a little variation to your 12's as well in the evening for instance the 12's would all go into the into the zoo whereas in the daytime they don't I, I think that'd be lovely but again it would take a lot of work I'm assuming it'd take a lot of work anyway Get ready for the bump, unless he's fixed it. It's usually a big bump. Oh no, it's not there anymore. He must have smoothed it out. Yeah, so that upper stone bit on the right there, you could turn in there and go into the zoo. The zoo could be round there. Or at the traffic lights back in, uh, in that place whose name I can't remember. There's a lot of places here whose names I can't remember. But anywhere down this route, basically, you could go into the zoo and back out again. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm hoping that he's not changed Stonely too much. Because I really do like Stonely. I think it's a, a lovely... Ooh, what's this sign here? Oh. Oh yeah, it's that sign that's always been there. Right, hang on. Hang on. Hold on, child. You're nearly going through the windscreen here. Not a busy service, is it? It really doesn't require a double-decker today. Heck, don't cut the corners. Good lord. I like how he waits now. The uh, the little van waits for you. They didn't used to do that. 
again, I don't know if that's a, a planned thing or whether it's, you know, it's just one of those coincidences that the Omsi traffic was just being nice to me for a change. You just never quite know on Omsi, do you? It's always very unpredictable. Yeah, well, let's get nipping round here. Careful not to cut that corner though. To be fair, there's nobody there, is there? It's a bus gate, isn't it, down here? I think it is anyway. Oh, sorry, child. You'll be first in line for the next stop. How's that sound? Yeah, it is like a little bus gate, isn't it? Buses only. It's quite nice because it stops the through traffic. Oh, talking of the 122. There we go, just flying out of uh, Stonely there. And uh, that is where we're going to leave our video for today. I do hope you've enjoyed the Route 12. Like I say, there's not many changes on this. Uh, on this particular route, but it's still a fantastic route to drive, nevertheless. I've really, really enjoyed it. Uh, do let me know what you thought in the comments section, and of course, do leave a like if you have enjoyed the video. If you're enjoying the OMSI content and you do want to keep up with more OMSI content, because as I say, there's going to be uh, there's going to be a <coughs> excuse me going to be a lot more uh, because there's lots of exciting things happening this year. Do of course consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any future OMSI episodes. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.